Hi all, let's check the breaking news, new coach is coming to Real Madrid, super twist in Chelsea vs Man United match, Manchester City player wants to move to Barcelona. Welcome to Footballist, for the latest football news and transfer updates, please subscribe the channel, if you like the video kindly like and support us. Eric Ten Hag has come to the defense of Marcus Rashford amid criticism, emphasizing that despite a drop in form during the defeat to Chelsea, Rashford remains motivated to contribute to Manchester United's success for the remainder of the season. Portugal forward João Felix says his international teammate Bernardo Silva wants to move to Barcelona, with the Manchester City midfielder having been linked with the Catalan club in several recent transfer windows. Atalanta say they have not received any direct contact from Liverpool about their Dutch midfielder Tune Coop Miners with the Reds reportedly interested in the 26-year-old. Liverpool want to sign Uruguay midfielder Federico Valverde from Real Madrid. They are very much impressed with this player. Bologna and Netherlands forward Joshua Xerxes has been targeted by Manchester United and Liverpool, but has told his agent he would prefer a move to AC Milan. Arsenal are set to rival Manchester United for the signing of Barcelona's 19-year-old Senegalese centre-back Mikhail Fay. Currently he is playing for Barcelona B team. United want to recruit a chief business officer to report to their incoming new chief executive Omar Barada. Portuguese manager Marco Silva could attract interest from West Ham with a release clause in his Fulham contract worth £8.6 million, who have improved Fulham team as mid-table club. Everton could face a third points deduction after the release of their latest club accounts. Premier League clubs are pushing to scrap points deductions in favour of a new luxury tax fine system. Manchester City want to sell João Cancelo this summer, but will not listen to offers below €30 million. Euro. As per reports Xavi and Laporta are ready to extend his loan or sign him permanently. The twin sons of Manchester United icon Darren Fletcher have signed their first professional contracts with the club just months after joining from Manchester City. Tottenham have joined Brighton in the race to sign Kean and Dewsbury Hall, with Leicester potentially being forced sell to help with their financial situation, his transfer fee is £45 million and his contract is valid till 2027. Ruben Amarim opened a Premier League job amid major interest from Liverpool and his camp are actively exploring Premier League opportunities. Manchester United have put Wolves captain Max Kilman on a short list of centre-backs to fix the defensive problems they have suffered this season. Bayern Munich wants to sign AC Milan's 16-year-old striker Francesco Camrada. He is delivering highly impressive performances for the AC Milan Youth League team. Alejandro Garnacho was awarded player of the match in the 93rd minute versus Chelsea. Cole Palmer then completed his hat-trick eight minutes later and the decision was overturned. Overturning the man of the match award to give someone who scored two penalty goals unlike someone who scored two beautiful goals. Cole Palmer is expected to be rewarded with an improved Chelsea contract that will include a significant salary increase, which is currently around £80,000 a week. Most of the Real Madrid players believe that Zabai Alonso wants to be Real Madrid coach after Leverkusen and that's why he didn't join Liverpool or Bayern Munich. From the board to the players, everyone expects Zabai to replace Carlo Ancelotti when he leaves. At Real Madrid, there are influential figures who view him as the ideal successor to Ancelotti, with none more significant than President Florentino Perez, who holds him in exceptionally high esteem. By that time, Ancelotti will be 68 years old, and while he has consistently expressed his desire to remain at Real Madrid for as long as possible, it would be somewhat surprising if he were to last until 2026, let alone be granted the opportunity to continue beyond that date. By Christmas of the next season, he will already have overseen the third longest tenure as a manager since the Civil War, surpassed only by Vicente del Bosque and Miguel Munoz. Do you think Zabai Alonso could replicate the success achieved by Zinedine Zidane and Carlo Ancelotti at Real Madrid? Share your comments on this, these are the updates for today and thanks for watching.